So if you do live in Savannah, you'll see a few showers in just a few minutes, in fact. Uh, but we will be looking at skies continuing to clear overnight tonight throughout West Tennessee. It's going to start us off with plenty of sunshine on our Saturday morning. And we will be looking at much better weather on the way for this weekend. Uh, cooler temperatures and also less humidity, but still have an isolated afternoon shower and thunderstorm that can't be ruled out. We'll be talking about that in our full look at the forecast, and that's only coming up in a few minutes. Brad, back to you. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Well, a West Tennessee dad saves his son from their burning home. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ben Rainwater has the story from Gibson County of the devastated family and their recovery. A Trenton home burned to a crisp and leaving nearly nothing behind. The boys got their clothes and dressed over his gown and nothing else and saved. Johnny Butler says the power went out around 8 Friday morning. He went outside to investigate when he noticed his house was on fire. The time fire department got here, and they got here quick, and it was engulfed in flames. Once he saw the fire, Butler says his biggest concern was his youngest son, who was sound asleep inside the burning home. I kicked the door in and got him out, and it was, it was about gone then. It, it started just the roof falling in and everything. If he wasn't there, I'd probably be done. I was knocked out. For now, the butlers are confused and stunned, but they say they'll regroup and try to recover from this disaster. I've heard this happen to other people, and, and you know it's bad, but it happens to you. You don't know what to do. I mean, I just, we don't know what to do. It's like starting over. The butlers play in Trenton, Ben Rainwater, WBBJ, 7 Eyewitness News. Now, the Gibson County Fire Department says the blaze started in the attic from what You'll be a little deep. an electrical short. You know that? Autopsy has positively confirmed LaCord Matthews is a man found shot to death yesterday in East Jackson. Good day. You know that? Lincoln Elementary School by a man huh? walking according to all the medical examiner used fingerprints to not not. identify him. His prints were on record due to his 2008 arrest in Nashville. I'm not going to Metro Nashville police tell us Matthews was found. Lay down, buddy. Lay down, go not not. Night night. <laughs> Lay down, go night night, buddy. Lay down. Night night, buddy. <laughs>